All beautiful women of English astute circumstance are known for their elite and beautiful skills. Welcome, wonderful, hard-working people. Thank you. Come around. This is a constructional prototype tutorial of how to make an exodiac Mediterranean. I fashion beanie. I believe in you. You can go from being a spoiled brat to of the Pentecostal. This yellow one is the Exodiac beanie. Please pay attention to the bells and whistles. Here's the elastic cord. Here's the reflector. It can come right off. It has, in, you can see it's a gloss reflector of high quality in the light. It, you can see the scratches up close in the murky yellow melt on the sides. I'm going to be showing you how to make them. You can place it crooked like a drop B style. Or you can just put it back on completely regular. Hmm. Now, let me put it back in. This is the Terranian TM-13 Earthquake Beanie. The spirit of Baku Nang will be DIY. Pantheist gods of the earth soil. Please pay attention to the bells and whistles of this one. Here's the elastic cord. And here is the reflector. You can take it off. And you can replace it in a drop B manner. The most hip way you can. Let's feel the tenor of strength of drop B. Sometimes people are a little undank. But here's the tenor of drop B, everybody. Everybody! Now I'm going to put it back to symmetrical in the proper way that it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Completely, even in front of you, wonderful people, symmetrical. Zoip. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. I found the most desirable beanies to customize. The Acne brand was the most pompous. I was motivated to wear it outside with ultimate greed. Their happy face patch insignia is a stupor. Five dollar happy face in my book, not four hundred. I made variations in my favorite colors to help pick the final two beanies. Look at these different variations. I practiced designing different gloss reflector sewing patterns. Factory destroyed exposed foam. Locations and Velcro options. Factory destroyed erosion. Melted tenors. I designed different elastic cord positions and made sure they don't droop in person. I tried several fitting hold elastic cord locks, so hyper, to let it deign perfectly. They looked worse in UX. I chose none for 100% crowd appeal. I would rather design my own 3D 
Discord locks. It seems worth the money compared to most basic shimmed ones you can find on most high fashion streetwear for $1,000. I designed several PVC patches in different sizes, variety, and location. A PVC patch is a high fashion brand artistic insignia made of PVC material, usually seen sewn on or velcroed on rich clothing. I want to call it a rubber patch, thus do, but PVC patch is the objective terminus. Current PVC patches of high fashion all around feel crowd appealing, but this is an $800 well done hoodie. Like Acne's chimid little square face, it is just one rectangular simple debossed line brand name in a line. For this much money, I deserve, thus you, a convex Fiberitech Margiela Hell Bubble. After all, this is very expensive. What great listeners you are. I am stewed with delight. Please keep following. Y2K, faux douche surf, anti-criminal humor, anti-dad, anti-douche, modern art shapes, all over print, embossed typography. I heard retarded yokel redneck middle-aged ugly glutes saying mud flaps, booze, and skinner in my eye during a powerful artistic focus in my notebook. How ugly, crude, disturbing, and senile. These design parodies pamper the spirit too promising for any low-life scum, straight retard. I originally designed the beanies to have PVC patches and gloss reflectors as the official production. I sent a PVC patch inquiry to 30 plus different online services. They dismally tried to swindle me into spending $1,000 and up constantly for a creepy, inept, rip-off form of this convex thub Margiela bubble art type, and they couldn't even comprehend my convex decision-making. They had criminal attitudes, slack jaws with fat guts, huge douche, dicky shorts, and no brain. They had a portfolio of redneck tribal gamer one cent keychains. I abstain, abscond, bury the defeatable dysentery of communication. Nobody walks from the high road and gets ripped off alive. High IQ ideas being fed to the chain link hated pit bulls of the bottom feeder. Do as I do. Due to limitations, I had to avoid being able to chisel the top of the beanie. Horse comb the wool for a refined look. Pre-catacomb hole. Shakespearean tear the bottom. And objectly not produce the beanie with the final PVC patch decision. Due to the yokel rednecks of shady permitted work positions. They dishonored my softest Finland portfolio ambition out of selfish low IQ mediocrity. I commend your cunning attention and respect your celebrity circumstance, celerity, and unhumiliating respect. After refining, I selected the final ex-Zodiac and Terranian beanie designs. I was limited to not have PVC patches so far with some other passionate designs, but other decisions were overruled due to proper crowd appeal. The UX favorites. This is Deck Android. To straighten my hair in the air condo. Shout out to every Android neck. This is a high fashion Velcro and gloss reflector tutorial. Time to break out the three rolls of two inch wide textile. Gloss reflector, loop Velcro, and loop Velcro. Now take your measuring tape and mark words to part perfectly in the back end to each of the with a sharp pencil. The little chicken billy company from Amazon. Take the ruler first, then T square, and make adjacent markings on the other inside edges of each, making three perfect four inch wide by two inch tall rectangles. Take a good clean scissor pair and cut each out perfectly. Take out your hook side Velcro and measure and trace in a rectangle that is even by 0.5 cm in from every side using the measuring tape and T square. Uh, oh, uh. If you measure right, you have a slightly smaller perfect rectangle. Remeasure and you will have made a mistake. Cut along the lines of one scissor cut until the 0.5 cm ends are chopped off. Place it dead centered on the back of the gloss reflector. You can measure guides at 0.5 cm or the pencil that you need. Make sure it looks good. 
choice if you want, then remove the adhesive part of the hook velcro and stick it to the back, the non gloss side of the printer. Sewing, it will stay on permanently. Now with the fun part, this is the tenor of the factory of destroyed garments like the Balenciaga butter, Margiela Motop, top, retro fit deep tint trainers, Margiela destroyed future sneaker, and finally the Benevich Reebok, genetically modified pumps. Whether you are higher of a CC, the big lighter, the 200 grit sandpaper, cut a 3x3 inch piece of sandpaper, your kind or ancient drink of water, just a safe huge cup or bottle to prevent the fire hazards, your higher blanket too. Now take a look at the light melting and scorching of my reflector. Now grab your higher your water and your fire blanket, reflector with hook, no throw on the back, and flick and pull the lighters and flame to the edges of the reflector lightly. Monitor how much it burns, it is permanent. Even mark permanently capture the aesthetic of a factory destroyed look. Make it look melted and stained with clear lumps, and some dense, if you burn the tip of the hook velcro, it will melt too. Use your two fingers after your lighter is off, press down the reflector and you burn. My bridge or my bow. There will likely be some burned crust on the edge of the reflector, so keep the aesthetic shape you made right there, and move on elsewhere if you need. Keeping it about four inches wide, but infected, grizzed, smoked, with a Cheyenne, white, blue jazz, intense corn star, deep rich red carpet chrome, that is who affords Benjamin's and Margiela, etc. Remove the crust of your exacto knife and pad, cut right to the very 0.5 millimeters end of the burn, and cut the crust off. But don't cut open new reflector parts at all. If you do barely get it, you can it's a piece of shot. When you are done, it looks emanating and professional. You're starting from B, a $1,000 and up shoe shell technique that I am proud of. Without the great compassionate audience members, I would regret being myself by a coward. Now get out your 3 inch by 3 inch 200 grit sandpaper and just cut this out roughly. Now I put the bottom quarter about 1.5 inches wide and 1 inches tall, so take your 200 grit and scratch it with firm separate strokes. It is permanent to try all different directions, and perhaps a school or two. You can press really hard, but artistically signature as can get, pumps have to be across the gun. Now place it on the sewn on female reflector precisely. Grip it off and on gently, you can place it drop it crooked or the word you want. Okay. Oh, lucky day, till the great viewer suddenly arrives.